Understanding the Federal Budget by Alex Merced of alexmerced.com. The federal government is the amount of money the federal government spends each year on everything. In the year 2016, the federal government spent $3.54 trillion while only receiving in revenue $2.99 trillion. This resulted in a budget deficit of $552 billion, which the deficit alone was 3.3% of GDP. Now what is a budget deficit? A budget deficit is how much the government spent that year beyond the revenue it received. But how do you spend more than you received? Deficits have to be financed by borrowing money. The problem with borrowing money is that then the government, aka the taxpayer, has to pay interest on that money. That money that was borrowed could have been borrowed by someone else, so there is an opportunity cost. As people fight over borrowable funds, it ends up pushing up interest rates. The country's national debt is the total that it's borrowed and has not yet paid back from all the years the country has existed. In 2000, as George W. Bush was taking office, the national debt was around $5.6 trillion. In 2008, when Barack Obama was taking office, the debt, national debt was $10.4 trillion, doubled what it was at the beginning of the George W. Bush era. Now in 2017, as Donald Trump takes over as President of the United States, the national debt is $19.9 trillion. Once again, about double what it was at the beginning of Barack Obama's presidency. Now what are we spending all this money on? There are two types of spending. Discretionary spending, which Congress has to appropriate before it gets spent, which includes military, roads, infrastructure, in 2016 was $1.15 trillion. While non-discretionary spending, these are open-ended commitments of the United States government, which include Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, in 2016 were $2.39 trillion. Now here we can see a pie chart of 2016 spending. So things like the military budget, where 15% of the budget while Medicare and other healthcare type spending was 28%, and Social Security, unemployment and labor was 36% of the budget. So, how do you close the gap? Now, better economic policy would help, as as the economy grows, people pay more taxes, and will require less government services. Problem is, people have a disagreement on what good economic policy is, and what the focus of good economic policy should be. You could lower spending, but politically this is very difficult, as all sorts of different interest groups of actual voters who vote uh, receive the money from every different line on the government budget. So whether we overspend or the spending isn't necessary, there's a political cost to legislators for cutting any spending, making it very difficult to do. Raise taxes. The problem is, just asking for more money doesn't mean you get more. It can hurt consumption and people spend less and end up paying less taxes because there's less income. It can hurt savings and hurt investment. It can also cause companies to decide to relocate in countries that, well, charge less taxes. Now, why is this a pressing matter? Why does this need to be addressed as soon as possible? There are many headwinds that could potentially make the budget problem a lot worse, such as rising interest rates that can increase the interest that the government is paying on its debt and hurt the economy lowering tax revenues, an aging population uh, resulting in more Social Security and Medicare payments, and an evolving job market where basically we're evolving into a more freelancer's economy or a gig economy away from the previous sort of full-time one-job economy we had before. So make sure to have a discussion and reach out to your legislators about addressing this problem because the longer we wait, the worse it will be. The deeper the spending cuts, the deeper the tax raises, and, um, you know, the, the harder it's going to be in general. If you enjoyed this video, learn more at learneconomicsnow.com and learn more about me at alexmerced.com.
Also, subscribe to my podcast on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. Podcasts such as Economics, Why Not, and The Alex Merced Cast.